Hey guys, welcome back to my haul video for this Friday, August 27th. This is part two. I just have too much stuff to cram into one video. So yeah, thanks for coming back. All right, this is my haul from Joann's. I ordered some stuff online, some stuff I got in the stores. This I ordered online because my store doesn't have it or they didn't have it yet or whatever, but it was on sale and I had a coupon, so it all worked out fine. So this is one of the new DCWV Halloween paper pads. This is a 12 by 12. It also comes in six by six. It includes foiled sheets. And I love DCWV because they're double-sided and usually really high quality and so pretty. So I just opened it. I haven't gone through it yet. So I can't wait to show you guys and look for myself. So, all right. So we have this vintage looking page. I love this. This is so cute. This reminds me of like old school Halloween decorating. And then the back has uh, moons and stars on it. So it looks like there's two of each. Oh, look at this. Pretty purple foiled spider webs on a black background. Beautiful. And the background is kind of like, I don't know, like a pinky with pink polka dots. It looks like some of the black from the uh, other side came through, but that's okay. I'm sure I would use it for this side anyway. All right, now this page is cute little trick-or-treat buckets, little cats and ghosts and pumpkins and monsters. Really, really cute with little candy corn sprinkled in there. And the back is just like kind of like a green with little, I don't know, can you see that? Let me zoom in a little bit. Kind of like little sprinkles on it. All right, is this too close? Let's see. This is the next page. This is foil too. Oh, so cute. The purple part is foiled. Creepy and real. This way to Halloween Town. Ghosts and goblins. Goblins? Goblins. <laughs> and the background is this purple grid. Very nice. Yeah, that's not bad, right? This, this view looks pretty good. All right, there is a black cat on this page with a cute uh, like gray grid background. Love black cats. And the other side are cute little jack-o'-lantern faces. That's so sweet. God, I love their papers. And then we have these coffins with Dracula and mummies and skeletons and ghosts, but not creepy, very cute. As cute as things in coffins can be. <laughs> and then we have some spider webs on the back. And the next page, this looks really familiar. I think, I don't know, I've had something like this before. But it's all candies with a little bit of pink sprinkled in there, some eyeballs, some looks like Tootsie Pops. And there are black and white stripes on the back. This one, all cute like costume faces, just like an angel, an astronaut, witch, werewolf, etc. And the stripe on the back of that. And then we have some more beautiful purple foiling with a, like a olivey, limey green in between. And then some cute uh, jack-o'-lantern stripes. And then, oh, this ghost page is so cute. Look at those happy faces. Even this guy, he doesn't even look too scary. So very cute. Yep. <laughs> oh, oops. The back is um, like spiders with eyeballs. That's kind of weird, but I like it. With a blue, that's pretty. All right, and then we have some ravens, I assume. Very cute. And a polka dot on the back. And then another candy page, a little bit different colors. And the background are bats and gray backgrounds. And then we have polka dot with purple foiling. So pretty. And then some clouds and stars and moons on the back of that. If you don't mind, I'm showing you that upside down, but you get the gist. Right? And then we have these trick or treaters. Oh, so cute like the faces on the other page, but this is their full costume. Oh, that's adorable. Love, love, love. And the background are little tiny skulls. Teeny, teeny tiny skulls. And then, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at that foiling. And even like, that's a cute hearse. And it's got like the uh, Grim Reapers in there. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And I, you know, I don't like scary stuff, but this is too cute. Love, love, love. And the back are just the eyeballs on green. And then, oh, there are the hearses with the uh, Grim Reaper in them. 
picks up this stuff? It's so cute. And then you have tombstones on the back and some cute like old fashioned vintage pumpkins and candy corn. And then, oh good, some cutter parts with the foiling. Let me zoom out a little so you can see them all. So cute. I love this one, this vintage looking one. Oh, can't wait to start working with this. And there's a grid in the back. And yeah, that's that one. So super cute, right? That one's called Halloween Town. I got another cute one called Halloween Party. And this one has some more pink in it, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, uh, the other one I didn't do a flip through yet, so I just cut it apart. So let's take a look. So we have also very similar style, but different colors, a little more pastel-y, cute witch faces, bats and skulls and cats. And the back is just stars. I wonder if this one has foil, does it say? Yeah, it says foil, okay. And then we have, this one's a little creepier, but still cute. Gotta zoom in, right? In, not out, okay. And the back is, oh, that's cute. It's pink, <clears throat> sorry, pink with little white pumpkins. Here comes some foiling. Ooh, white with the, okay, this is silver foiling with all these cute illustrations on it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, I love this. This really inspires me to do some Halloween crafting. I still have my 31 collection coming from a cherry on top and they were waiting on one thing, like one vellum sheet. It's been like 10 days. So finally I emailed them. I said, can you just substitute this for that so you can send it out? And they, and they were really good about it. And they said, sure, so they're gonna send it out today. So anyway, that's my story about that one. Here are those cute pumpkins, just like kind of in the other one, right? And little skulls. Oh, I love these strips. Love these. So good for cards and albums. This is cute. Eek, mwahaha. Wow. Whoa, boo. Oh, and the back are spider webs. Those are cute. More like densely packed spider webs. And then we have some more silver foiling on black background. That's beautiful. I think you could use that at any time, right? Oh, no, wait. There's some skulls. Probably not. <laughs> but it's cute. And there's some plaid on the back of that. Oh, this is so pretty. This looks like, it looks like the Dollar Tree stickers, right? This year with the pink and the orange. It has cute little spiders on it and little ghosties on the back. And then we have some spooky words, thrills and chills, eat, drink and be scary, happy haunting. And the back is a cute candy corn pattern. And then we have some foiling with these skeletons. Looks like they're kind of just hanging out, trying to be scary. And the back of stripes. And then we have those sayings again with foiling. I won't uh, do sound effects again. Sorry about that before. <laughs> and we have these little like, I don't know, little plus signs they look like. Orange, cute ghosty pattern. Stars. Love the pink in this one. And then we have some more cut aparts. Let's zoom out. Let's get spooky. If you got it haunted, Halloween greetings, spectacular, put a spell on you, feline spooky, wicked good time. And that's the back of that one. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. It's like a vines and flowers with just some jack o' lanterns and spiders as well. Very cute. And the back is, oh, that's cute. It's just like, let me zoom in so you can see that. Like a, just like drawings kind of, like outlines of the pumpkins. And then we have stripes, the foiled stripes on orange. And then this leaf pattern on the back, super cute. Are there skulls in there? I don't think so. So you can use that for fall too. And then old black cats, love this one. So cute. And that's the back, pink background. And then I think this is, oh, not the last, pink background with little candies and skulls and spider webs. And that's the back of that one. Oh, so cute. More like pen drawing looking illustrations. And then we have this one with uh, witches and cauldrons and spell books. All witch stuff. And some eyeballs on some pink. And then we have some more cut aparts. These are like all different sizes. Zoom out again so you can see them all. Okay, 
you see him? Yeah. Okay. That's cute. I love you. I get it. Hey, boo. Scaredy cat. Booyah. Booyah. And the back is the stripe. And that's it for that one. So super cute, right? So keep an eye out on uh, Joanne's for sales for their paper pads. They, you know, go on sale every now and then. I also got this online. These are uh, Halloween Town stickers by DCWV. I don't, I don't think I've seen stickers by them before like this. But this is what it comes with. Five sheets of clear stickers, five sheets of paper. Let me take them out so we can see what they look like. All right, so those are clear, obviously. Very cute, love clear stickers. And, oops, we are stuck. More clear ones. Very pretty. Love these vintagey houses. I don't know what I'll do with them. Probably on packaging. Some purple foiled stars and little banners and stuff. More clear, these are spider webs. Oh, these are so cute. This would be great, like, on an envelope, I think. And, oh, look at these clear ones. Adorable. The little trick-or-treaters. And we have some ghosties. Totally cute. These look like they might be glow-in-the-dark. I don't know. Maybe not. And another clear set. These are candies and stuff. And then the last one are these. Lots of foiling on them. Adorable. So DCWV really never disappoints. I am so happy with that stuff. Oh, can't wait to get going with it. All right, so that's what I got online. Oh, I actually got this online too. This is a re-inker for the Versamark uh, watermark ink pad, you know, to do embossing. So I got that. It was cheaper than just getting the an extra ink pad, and they don't have this in my store apparently, so I just picked it up while I was ordering online. So I think that was it from online. No, sorry. I keep saying and it's not. Okay, I did get two more Distress Oxides. I needed some orange colors, so I got dried marigold and carved pumpkin. And I did stamp them out. I'll show you in a second. Um, I also got, this was in store. I got some more glossy accents, and they were on sale, I think 30% off, so I needed some more of that. I picked up these stamps in the stamp section. Aren't they so cute, these little houses? These were also 30% off. These are by American Crafts. They're normally $4.99. So really cute. I love the one with the little um, heart in the window. And then I got this in the clearance section, some beads. This is $1.48. Um, really pretty colors. I'd love these like matte bumpy beads. That's what I really got it for. And like this one with the uh, blings on it. This one is kind of broken, but I don't know. I think it's kind of ugly anyway, so I wouldn't use it. But I like all the other ones, so. And for 148, I thought that was great. So yeah, so I got that. And um, yeah, I think that was it from Joann's. I always say I think that's it because it's usually not, but <laughs> I think it is. Um, okay, from Etsy, I ordered a custom stamp from Riley Print that um, I've ordered from them before. This one has my logo on it that is on, you know, on my YouTube channel, and I have it on Instagram as well. And it came really quickly, and they they just they do a great um, a great job. I wanted to show you some of the images. I made some tags. That's what it looks like. Isn't that cute? So I just used some different inks. These are the two new Distress Oxides I got. I kind of did them backwards. This one is Dried Marigold, which is this. And then the round one is Carved Pumpkin. I should have done the pumpkin, pumpkin shaped and the flower, flower shaped, but whatever. So that's what they look like. Those are the two different colors. I like them both, but I think I like the Marigold better. So yeah. And then um, just to show you like what colors I've been using, I use this Distress Oxide for this one. I used Shaded Lilac for this one. I used Spun Sugar for one. I love this color, it might be my favorite. And then I used Salvage Patina for the last one. So I just took my ink blending brushes and just, you know, swished it all around the edge. And I think it they came out really cute. Just, you know, very minimalist and 
um, but they dress up your tags or whatever you're doing really well. Okay, so let's go on to the next shop. I'll move this out of the way and get new stuff out. So I got a few things from uh, Dollar Tree. Have you guys ever seen this before? I haven't. It's a Crafter Square tear-off palette and it has 15 sheets. So um, yeah, I thought this would be fun to just, you know, like sometimes I need scrap paper when I'm doing some inking and stamping and that kind of thing. So yeah, maybe this will work out. I don't really paint, so I don't, but I figured for a dollar I'd, I'd try it out. Who knows if it works. And then I picked up another one of these cutting cutting mats. Uh, these are great to have just when you're doing, you know, exacto uh, knife cutting or rotary cutter or something like that. So I always need a new one of that. And then I picked up this uh, double-sided tape. I don't remember seeing this lately. Um, usually they have like the uh, the pop dot tape or the the foam tape, but I haven't seen double-sided tape in a while. So I grabbed that, and that's all I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I got a couple of things from Target. This I thought was so cute. This is a tiered tray set, and this was $5. They had a couple different ones, but this one comes with like a little box sign, um, a shadow box sign, this cute little truck, uh, welcome, and then this hanging sign that says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. So isn't that adorable? Take a look for these. They also had like um, some like neutral decor kind of ones, but uh, they didn't have a truck like this and I love the truck. So yeah, let's get that. And then these were 90% off. These are tech storage boxes. So instead of $3, it was 30 cents. So I got two of these. Um, I thought I would open it up just to see what it looks like inside so I could show you if I don't stab myself. I uh, do that often. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So it has, all right, so it has this like rubber band over the top, like a belly band. It's kind of cool, holds it all together. Oops, sorry, bought my tripod. Yep, I did, as always. All right, so let's see how this works. Got a little tab here. Okay, so it has this top part where you can put cords and then like this little section on the bottom with a removable divider. So that's kind of cool, you know? Obviously you don't have to use it for tech and I probably won't. I'll use it for storage or to send happy mail, maybe make a little embellishment box. I might even leave this part out, you know? I don't think it needs that. Does it close without it? Hmm, it doesn't really close without it. So maybe it does need it, but can I put it that way? Yeah, that works. So for 30 cents, you guys, it came in different colors too, but I just got um, two white ones. So, so yeah, so I picked those up and I went to Michael's, got a couple things. I got some more Beacon 3-in-1 glue because I had a 20% off coupon and used it for that. I, they have some new beads out. I picked up this pack of wood beads. I like the texture on them and the different colors. And I thought they'd be nice for like fall beading projects. I got these rose gold ones because I don't really have any rose gold and I was looking for some and uh, yeah, so I got those. These are nor I think they were like three or $4.99, I don't remember. And then they have like packets of different, you know, like individual colors, which I thought was pretty cool. This one is a pretty yellow and it's, it has different sizes of beads in there. They're plastic, but fine for bracelets, you know, nice and lightweight, fine for dangles too. So I don't have any color like that. I figured I would give them a try. Um, and then let's see, I also got a few papers. Um, Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Hi Erica, if you're watching, she had showed this beautiful, like smooth glitter red. So I picked that up as well. It's called, um, oh, is there a name on there? I don't really see one, but that's what it is. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful, smooth red glitter. And then I also got this one. This is like a bronzy kind of glitter, copper maybe. Ooh, very reflective. So I got that one too. So that was it from Michael's. Got a couple things from Allie. They came from the same shop. I had seen DM, who is cutesy shelf. Hi DM, if you're watching, she had gotten these really, really cute, like um, 
like little shop beads or not beads charms so this is the first one it's like a little cupcake shop is it focusing i think so it's so tiny but adorable and the detail is just awesome so they have a couple different ones i got a pack of the cupcakes and then a pack of this like regular little house it has a cat on it so i couldn't resist so look at that one isn't that cute oh love it so um yeah i had to get those so i think that is it um i wanted to show you guys some of the bracelets i made last week i showed them on instagram i'd used that that like peach set that i would gotten from hobby lobby so i just wanted to show you like this one is mostly those beads this one i used a couple like um like aqua ones that I had in my stash as well. I was going to make it black because it looked really Halloween-y like that, but then I figured, you know, using the green would make it a little more versatile, so I did that. This one I used one of those like snowflake beads, and I made this a little bit too tight. Um, I, I might restring it and just add, um, just make it a little bit bigger, but I do like how it came out. This is just like silvers and clears, and I figured I could wear this with any holiday but uh, especially with Christmas beads. So I got that. And uh, did I want to show you something else? Let's see. Oh, the pumpkin beads. Yes. They're, this is one of the beads from that peach bead collection that I said looked like a pumpkin. So I actually made it into a pumpkin dangle. Um, what I did was I added a little leaf sequin that I had. It was from... Uh, I don't remember, but I've had it for a long time. It was a little bit bigger, so I just cut it to trim it to size. And then I added a bugle bead for the um, for the stem and then just tied some twine around it. I made another one too. This one I used, actually it wasn't twine. I just used some like thicker thread. Maybe you could see this one better. See that bugle bead? This one I made, the bugle bead was too big. I think it looks better if it's a little bit shorter like that one. But uh, yeah, it does look like a pumpkin, right? So good for pastel fall projects. I thought, you know, it kind of like gave this a little nod to fall. So anyway, I wanted to show you how that turned out. And that is it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you watched both videos, wow. Thanks for, thanks for sticking with me. I don't know why my videos are getting so long lately. I think I'm shopping too much. So, <laughs> and if all those orders had come in, oh my gosh, I don't, yeah, I would have had to have like four videos. So let's see what happens next week. Um, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, maybe I should break up my hauls during the week. I don't know. Maybe have one early in the week, one later in the week. Let me know what you think. But that's it for now. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.